We're going to unpack the enigma who is Derek Hind. So you've got to understand that Derek Hind is 56 years old. He's also blind in one eye. So that alone is, a, is pretty much the age plus the, the lack of sight, of, mm -hmm. of full peripheral vision is, is not there. But this guy absolutely rips. And he's all about the feeling of surfing. He almost talks about surfing as feeling more like jazz, whereas some guys just want to do rock and roll. Mm. He, he loves finless because it just feels smooth and effortless. Right. So let's let's watch one of the waves, and if you have a look at the, the twist, look at the lack of body movement. It's so fun to watch. It's beautiful. Look, he's pointing his hands where he's wanting to go. So there's a lot of like driving, mm. and there's, there's a lot of looking going on there as well. I noticed. Yeah. So I actually really noticed. That's the first time that I've ever really noticed a surfer really using their eyes. Where you look is where you go in surfing. Yeah. So it's super, super important that he looks where he's going. Okay, okay. Go. Let's go back to the bottom turn. Now, if he was riding a bicycle, look at the handlebars and how, how he's sort of like leaning in on that bottom turn. I'll, I'll zoom in. Can you see how he's leaning down? And the angle of the hand, that like his coffee cup hand. is a little bit lower. Yeah, it's, and it's, it's got like a bit of a twist to it, which is then making that rail Engage a bit Engage, further. Engage, yeah. Yeah, 100%. So, um, he's got a low center of gravity. Obviously, if you're standing up too tall, the board might spin. Mm -hmm. So that low center of gravity just gives him a bit more rail control. Okay. So he's definitely not standing on the back foot, cranking on the back half of the board to try to get the board to turn. He's utilizing the rails and he's leaning. Yep. The same way as someone riding a bicycle would turn a bicycle. Yep. Okay. So, uh, so with from watching a couple of videos of, of him now, he is he does spend a lot of the time in that compressed position. Now, I suppose a question that I would have as your your sort of everyday surfer is sort of being in, in that squat position. Is it purely because he's he's he ha he hasn't got any fins? Is that is that the reason why he's so yes. compressed down? So it gives him a lot more control over the rail. Okay. Okay. But watch when he comes comes out of it. Let's see if he does anything here. So get his weight a bit more forward to, to track down the wave. And then he starts getting the hands right for his projection. Yeah. Okay, so the almost like if you're riding the yeah. bicycle, yeah. Um, and there's the coffee cup arm that we're always talking about. So he's extending his right arm. Yeah. So if you think of a sprinter running, if you're going left foot forward, you'll go right hand forward. So we always work in opposites. Yeah. And so if you're if if you're watching this and you would have heard us say coffee cup a couple of times now, just really quickly in one sentence, the coffee cup hand is your back is arm. That hand there, which by bringing that coffee cup forwards, it squares you up so that you are facing down the wave as opposed to being side on. So the whole coffee cup analogy is that when you as a young kid learn how to make a cup of coffee for your parents and you take it to the bedroom if you don't spill the coffee you've got good balance mm. so what derek is doing is he's holding that coffee cup hand level and it's keeping him balanced yep then beautiful lean on the bottom turn and grabbing the rail there grabbing the rail and then there's the twist he keeps his chin level and looks where he wants to go so so out of interest here I didn't see the moment when he made that, that spin happen. You didn't see it? I didn't see it, no. So okay. can you just go back? So the first thing he did is he dipped his head down. Okay, yeah. Okay. So he's, he's going for a big lean to mm -hmm. engage the rail, but then he follows it through with the twist. So there's the lean, and then there's the twist around. Uh, okay. So he's looking where he wants to go. Yeah. Again. Now, if you have a look at his, his body positioning, he's over his inside rail. So he's not on top of the board anymore. So he's shifted his weight. If I draw a line for you, his weight is now over that inside rail mm. as opposed to being on top of the board. And so um, he's also grabbing it a little bit. And I'm, I'm kind of assuming that's to sort of stop that, that, that leading rail digging in. 
Well, it's it's to. Am I am I right or am I wrong in it's that? It's to help him to spin on that inside rail. Okay. Yep. Okay. And then when he when he's finished the turn, he's going to have to let the rails go and point where he wants to go. Yep. Okay. So if you watch that, he'll raise his coffee cup up. <laughs> All right. And it's like okay, go in that line again. Yeah. So as soon as he raises his posture, the the turn stops. Mm. And then he's eyeballing. So let's look at the coordination. His eyes are looking, his hands are pointing, the knees are pointing, the yeah. board's going. So every, the, every, everything has got yeah. forward drive and speed and acceleration. So the control that he's exhibiting from his body over that board is insanely good. Yeah. And you'll notice that he's on his front foot. Okay, so he can glide down that wave again. Another bit of Jim absolutely. Hendrix. Look at that oh, lean. <laughs> Look at that water displacement. So he's leaning over the rails. The problem with the modern surfers, they, can, they, they are given a high performance board mm -hmm. and they just want to twist, twist, twist the whole time. And they're riding um, surf skates in the street, which just, it's, it's an advocate again for just twisting, twisting. And they forget the, the delicate leaning on the bottom turn and yeah. how, how you got to surf off rail rather than stand on the board and surf it flat. Yeah, I mean, if, if you were stood on the beach now, you'd be reading the whole bottom of his board at that point in time. Yeah. Oh, he goes straight into... So he kind of raised himself up a little bit there, almost as if he made himself lighter. That's what it looked like to me as he did the spin. There's the board that he's riding. Oh, look at this. What? If that was me, I would have just spun out of control, been all over the place. See how he's lung <laughs> lunging where he wants to go? Yeah. Back nice and straight. Um, he's even getting barreled. So in interesting there, as he went for that barrel, to me it looks like he's... I know that he's... He's, he's, he's trying to hand. stop a rotation from happening. He's trying to keep a straight line. So that could be the hand. Yep. But this is the first time that I've seen him bring his weight backwards. So he's sort of stacking over that back knee rather than over that front one. Well, normally he would go forward and spin, mm -hmm. but he can't spin inside that barrel. No. He's just, the board won't fit. So he's trying to just hold that line. But when he's got his line, he gets his weight forward over the front foot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is a, Someone bailing in the little, corner. A little board bail. <laughs> so what I'm drawn to is the lack of movement from his body. Yeah. So he, he kind of holds it quiet and coordinated. Where you see some guys, they, they look like the balloon man in the used car dealership. It's mm. just like the arms are all over the place. So the one thing that he can control, which is his body, he's controlling it unbelievably well. So um, this has got me really pumped. I've just ordered myself a finless and hopefully <laughs> I can be quiet in my movements yeah. and just have a really good posture and just try copy and hopefully feel what Derek feels when he surfs. Yeah, yeah, that was amazing. So thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the, chat, the, to the channel yet, then make sure you hit the like, hit the subscribe button, and also hit that notification bell so that you will be notified when the next Coach's Eye video comes out. But thanks for watching. Get out there and enjoy some waves. See ya.